Hello, all of you lovely people. Welcome to January's podcast. This month, we'll be talking about school stories. Now, um, before we get into the podcast, I just like to give a quick warning that um, there's a lot of background noise on my bit because I recorded it early in the morning. And so it's natural for there to be a lot of birds and uh, freaking chickens to be making a lot of noise in the morning. So, and also, um, I was stupid and kept making a lot of noise because I'd mute my mic on Discord. Sometimes you'll hear that and uh, you can just hear my dying chair. like that uh i'm not re-recording this intro so this is what you're gonna have to deal with also somewhere like towards the end um some of the audio kind of just decided to mess up i don't know what exactly happened there but you don't miss out too much so don't worry so anyways i hope you guys enjoy what happens here Oh, and we also got a little off topic towards the end, but you know, that doesn't matter. It's all fun and games. <laughs> I need to shut up. Okay. Let's begin with introducing ourselves, okay? Who Who's first? first? Well, uh, I'd like to begin, if you don't mind. I kind of mind. Oh, my bad. I mind a lot. Go on, salad. I mean, uh, well, my name is Landon. Um, I have a YouTube channel. It's Law Landon. I upload purposely cringy stuff onto there for fun, so my friends can laugh at me. And, and I'm, I'm oh, currently um fourteen. Whoa! Oh, big age. Nice. Thank you. Is that so? I'm at the age where my voice cracks a lot. Oh, okay. Now, anime boy, how you doing? Introduce yourself. Alright, uh, who's next? Oh, uh, okay. That's an introduction. I don't know. Normal guy. Name's Dylan. Uh, I don't have a YouTube channel because I got better things to do in my life. Other than... <laughs> <laughs> That's a job. Uh, 17. Mm-hmm. I have two on that, so... Life's pretty shit. Going over confident. Oh, 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 okay, so the gun barrel is now pointed at me now. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, ooh, ooh, I don't like being in the stage. The lights are too bright. Well, I am Overconfident Force. Hello. That's my YouTube channel name. If you were curious, okay, in case some people couldn't read, you know, bam. Uh, I also happen to do the YouTubes, and I make weird animations. I do it on purpose. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like we're skipping heart, you know? What do you do? Introduce yourself. <laughs> like always. <laughs> I hate introducing myself. <laughs> well, introduce you gotta get used to it. We don't know who you are. Yeah, who are you? <laughs> I've never met you. <laughs> you were in the last podcast. <laughs> huh? Over I think I watched that. Yeah. I think I watched that. I most likely watched it, but I'm, I've got bad memory loss, so. Oh, gosh. Hey, I heard that. I dare you. Oh, no, 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 no. Just something that I saw. Oof. It was a profile of... picture. Oh, bye. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like being honest. So, Hart, you, <laughs> you, you gotta introduce yourself to us, okay? We don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> introduce yourself. Please. I'm very... Ooh, I got cold fingers now. Okay. Whew. I'm still uh, shaking. I'm... Why is everybody so shaky today? <laughs> oh, 
I I've never talked to you guys before, and I listen to the podcast. You all sound so cool. Salad, you you sound like you've been sniffing the glue. All right, is that the reason why you're? No, I swear, I swear <laughs> I haven't. Sure. Anyways. Pinky uh, promise. I pinky promise. Uh, I, my pinkies are not functioning properly. God so, dang it. What is the main topic of today? What well, what is something that you want to go for? Heart. You're the host. I think. <laughs> you haven't introduced yourself, so I think you are the host, correct? I think you're a female, correct? <laughs> I don't know. You're oh the one that's God. wearing the wire, recording all of us, right? Yes. Good to go with? Yeah. Okay, well, well, what's the main topic? What's the meat of this podcast here? School. School. Ooh, that's a good shit. Ooh, okay. So who wants to have a little school story? Mm. I don't know. Salad, salad. My, my friend, my, my good buddy here. Who wants the wrench on him? Covered himself with wrench. Tell me a school story. Um, well, once I, <laughs> I got in trouble for making someone I had a crush on laugh. And I argued with the teacher and got in even more trouble. Mm. Nothing too interesting, you know. I'm just, just a little deviant, just a little deviant. Mm. All right, anime boy, you still with us? Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Okay. 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 That's that's very good to hear. Okay, you're still with us. I, I want you to tell us this. What is a school story? Tell us one. Uh, uh, that could be anything from school, just any kind of story, anything that ever happens, I guess. Yeah, anything. You're just narrating it. It's a story. You're erasing your memories from school. Yes, heavily erasing them. Every single one of them. One by one. Is there a reason yeah. for this? Yeah, bullied for seven years of school. Pretty solid, you know what I mean? Pretty harsh. Went to a heavily racist school. Ooh. We're not fans of whites, so you got bullied quite a lot. You got beaten up. It's not a nice place to go. Oh, heck. Yeah. Uh, and being a pretty chubby guy at the time, 14 stone, being 6'4", it was not the best looking thing in the world. Easy thing to come after. But, uh... Does it matter what kind of story I work here? Good, bad, sad? Eh? Enemy boy, I, I want to say this. I heavily, even though you haven't told anything yet, I can already heavily relate to you because mostly through my middle school years, I have been heavily bullied, especially my first year. Oh my gosh. And, you know, of course, this is many, I guess five years ago that I was in my first year of middle school. I'm, I'm in high school. I'm down to my last year. And <laughs> so far, you know, things have been very quiet mm. throughout the times that I've been in school and I'm still down to my last year. I think I already said that. Uh, I, I want to begin with middle school, probably the worst year of my school life uh, sadly there's really nothing funny but i can try to add some comedy into this uh hopefully Seems i might so do a good job at it uh, <laughs> so my first year of middle school wasn't good at all uh, to this particular school that i go to i was only there for about less than a year before every time i would go there i would have a mental breakdown and start crying and sobbing yeah but i had this one friend i mean i i, I guess he was a friend but he was a I, i'll try to be light on my words here but he was a mentally handicapped kind of person uh, he really liked Diary of the Wimpy Kid. That, that was big at the time. I don't know if it is now, still. But, 
we, we would always joke about every little thing kind of thing. Uh, if I could describe the best way of how we really spoke to each other, I, I want to compare our, our friendship to like Beavis and Butthead. Is every anyone here familiar with that show? Yes. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, we would joke at every little thing all the way up to a... Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to be vague here again, but a particular human male uh, organ. I, I, I'll let you people take a wild guess, but every time we would have an opportunity to do this, we'll draw this particular human male organ <laughs> somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and we would just laugh at it, you know, even if it's just like a little piece of paper on the desk. Okay, we would just That's like... just what us boys do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had fun. Okay, I mean, at least he had fun. You know, I, I was too busy <laughs> getting picked on whatever there was opportunities for other kids to actually, you know, do the fights. <laughs> but, you know... Ah, jeez. But, yeah, you know, let, let's let's move on to heart hey how you doing <laughs> tell us a school story uh i don't have many but i got mm. a lot of random things that happened to me okay well what are these random things uh okay let me ask does it count as harassment if someone is like randomly staring at you through a window like there's this guy who's like two years younger than me and he was staring at me and my friend in through the library window and he just laughed in this really creepy manner and he wouldn't stop until I got up and my friend got up and we hid behind one of the columns in the library what the frick yeah. no, I wouldn't call that harassment that's like a heavy state of peeping tom Oh, yeah. It's a very heavy step for Peeping Tom and very fucking weird and creepy. It's very, very ominously weird. Yeah. You should have just stared right back at him directly in the eyes. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no. Dead he might get the wrong idea, though. No, <laughs> you know? like, give him a dead stare. Give him the eyebrows and... just, just give him the eyebrows, just go. Mm -hmm. And then just give him. Oh, gosh, but. <laughs> People staring, uh, jeez. They'll stop, trust me, they stop instantly as soon as they do that, because like, nah, I don't want that. <laughs> don't carry on doing that. No. Give him the, give him the evil eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. School, ah, uh, jeez. Okay, now, since I'm in high school, I'm in a completely different school where I was before, uh, it's a lot more calm, but, you know, there's a whole new set of different problems, but not as severe as when I was my first year of middle school. Oh, gosh, that was a nightmare. But as much as I want to expand my, you know, this first year of middle school, I, I don't want to seem as someone who's edgy at the time, or at least the way how I would describe things. So I don't want to go too much into that for now, okay? Uh, unless, you know, I feel more comfortable, okay? I feel safe at home, okay? No, anyways. <laughs> so I want to ask you people this, you know, school-related topics. Uh, let's go with the no hoodie policy. I'm pretty sure everyone here knows what that is already, right? Like no hats on. Yeah. No beanies, no hoodies. Oh yeah. Uh, m mine's pretty simple to the point. We weren't allowed to have your own clothes. It, you were in a set uniform. I don't, you weren't allowed to wear any of your own. Oh. It was. Ver it was very mandatory to a set thing. You miss one piece. Detention. You're straight like that. That you sucks. Hey, it's not bad when you like wearing suits. It's not bad because you walk to <laughs> school every day. Hell yeah, that's pretty good, man. Proper oh, tie and everything. Hey, if there was no. any, 
suspicious white stains that land on you. Hopefully that white shirt oh. was good enough to disguise oh. this mysterious white stain, okay? <laughs> no worries, by the way. We wore like full black suits with Oh, black oh that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, like full full black everything and then a grey tie and then you're just looking at yourself thinking, Hmm This isn't gonna work out. Not well. Not at all. Okay, so you couldn't use it as like a a rag if somebody spilled like a big bowl of mayonnaise on the floor. <laughs> and just Nobody really took really notice towards it because you just clean yourself off to be honest. So, the first, okay, back to the first year of my middle school years, we, we had a, kind of like a, I forgot, what was it, a dress code, is that what you call it, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, dress was, code. Yeah, I mean, I, I, people seem to have different accents, so I'm going to assume you're not from the U.S., that's where I'm from, hello? Yeah, I'm clearly not from the U.S., as you can tell. Oh. <laughs> I'm just I'm going by too proper, too, too posh and proper apparently. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess it's already a language barrier. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, chief. Okay, I, I feel like I'm being rude. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, my first year of middle school. Uh, Jeez, we also had this similar dress code, except you wear a white shirt and black pants, okay? You can't have any fancy-looking thing, and if you don't got the, the little requirements, then we'll offer you a white shirt, or a white, yeah, a white t-shirt that smelled like bleach. Oh, gosh, the bleach was hardcore smelled. Uh, so you had course, experience? Oh, yeah, I had experience. Oh, gosh, I hated that smell of this bleach. It felt like it was just dipped or they just soak that sucker up it's just bleach okay and you know they're like here you go it wasn't wet or it wasn't soaked it was just like it just smelled hardcore bleach that would give me a headache <laughs> um, oh gosh there's a dog barking outside i am so sorry it's harassing the people around me oh, gosh. <laughs> um, anyways so what about uh you salad and of course heart any of you two had, what was it, dress codes kind of thing at your schools? Um, no, you just couldn't wear spaghetti straps. That was about it. A spaghetti strap? Oh, yeah. like uh, a tank top that um, it couldn't be thinner than uh, your finger. It had to be a thick tank top. The part that goes around your shoulder. Couldn't show a nipple. Okay, well, I mean, ooh, kind of made me a little insecure right there. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, so, any weird people you've people met at school when you were there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. 100%. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Tell me about them. Or tell us about them. Oh, well, you want to hear about someone really weird, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, there is this kid, um, I'll call him, like, Jeffrey. Mm. His name, uh, his, I'll call him Jeffrey. Um, he was a real weirdo. He, he, like, tried to, he tried to be hip and cool and stuff. And it was just, ugh. And people, hmm, last year... People said they saw him um, doing some lewd acts in class while staring at another girl. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, and then someone did that again this year. Mm. So those are some pretty cool people we got at my school. Okay, cool, cool. Anime boy. Ah. Uh. Anybody come to mind? Uh, there are there are a couple. Okay, T tell tell us, please. Like weird or odd or what what kind of stuff? Like okay okay let, let, let's get like uh the most weirdest out of the pile of weird. All right all right I can get that out of the way right now. The easiest and weirdest one there was. Um yeah. okay so a lot of um a lot above me when I was in high school I was in year nine so looking at about so it's yes yeah, middle school for you 
Mm. I was in like probably about second, third year middle school to you, but year nine or three. A guy in year ten was in maths, and it was oh, it's a disgusting story. And to be over the next classroom over, supposedly, and I'd known the guy as well. He got himself off underneath the table to the teacher. And I'm just like, oh, come on. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty weird. Mm. It's pretty weird when you, when you put it that way, you know. It's just, he'd done I mean, it a, a multitude of times, so it wasn't just once. He'd done it at least three. Oh, God. I mean... Yeah. You said you wanted the weirdest, and I just got the weirdest out of the way. <laughs> it's not it for no, straight out. Don't bother. Okay, well, I mean, well, come on. I mean, okay, what about the second weirdest kid or child or person? Uh, second weird. Well, that obviously, that was the most disgusting and weirdest one there is. Uh, second weirdest kid uh, was this kid who was about two years younger than me. And... Obviously, I'm 6'2 now, but back then I was about 6, give or take. And this kid was about 4 foot. He was he was dwarf. He was a dwarf child. And, um, pretty funny, obviously. You know, something you can laugh at. But um, he decided to think, I'm going to be the big man and take on the tallest guy in all the school. Being one of my good friends that is currently now standing at 6'6". Six six, pretty scary high. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a big guy that's like 16 stone, 6 foot 6. He's basically a tank. This little tiny child that's like 9 stone doesn't weigh anything. He weighs like 100, like 100 pounds of that against like a 220 pound person. Ain't gonna work out. And this kid was an oddball. He was weird. He'd do some really lewd shit with his friends. But always said, oh. not gay. Nah, nah, not, not gay, man. Not gay. So, it comes into a funny story, but a, a bit of a horrible story at the same time. Uh, he basically tried throwing shit. Nope, I'm damping that. Tried throwing stuff at my friend, and it came to a point of where my friend got so annoyed that he decided to pick him up. Just pick him up and throw him across the yard. <laughs> Straight up, threw him about 20 feet across the yard. Clean. Did he tell you to go oh. along? <laughs> <laughs> no, he you straight across. It's gone. It ain't coming back. Go along now. Just yeet. <laughs> the kid looked like he was about to drop the spade. <laughs> Eat him again, and he ended up decking him. Should have went. Don't think it's a big deal. There was some more weirder people. Uh, the list goes on. Sounds amazing. Um, hmm? Alright. Um, so is that all the stories you had to uh, cough out? Uh, I actually have a question for all of you. Alright, spit it out. Uh, uh, is, is vaping a problem at your school? Oh my god. It wasn't a problem at my school, but I remember mm. once someone brought a vape, and they just, when the teacher was out of the room, they were passing it around. And I just remember how they tried to, like, get rid of the cloud someone just blew out when they saw the teacher in the window. Because this, this classroom was located in a weird place. It was, like, on the side of the school, and there was a window you could see, so it was kind of easy to tell if the teacher was coming back. I probably should have told the teacher that they had that, but, uh. Don't want to be a snitch. <laughs> I mean, ah, oh, jeez. Like the back in the back, right? Alright, what about you, anime boy? Vape problem? Uh, vape problem. I was, was a smoker. Well, I did smoke at one point, normal cigarettes, by, mm -hmm. by a peer pressure when I was younger, but got out of it jumped onto vape, became one of the vapors, uh, little story, I decided, because it was early in the morning, it was about half seven, and there's not many people in the school at that time, and I go there, and there's like this, basically like a breakfast, like, bar area, where you get 
you know, free toast and like a coffee. And I'm like, hit me up, it's my coffee. Get it every morning. And I was just vaping in there and I decided to walk out while vaping, got caught right in my tracks by the assistant head. Ooh. Bad lad. It didn't go down well. I got pulled into his office. He took my he took my vape off me. Went sick at me. Took me to my head of year, which I know him very well. My mum knows him very well. What? One second. Um, all right. Um, but he um, he probably went off at me and everything. Took me there, and um, it was like, oh, you're gonna get uh, after you're gonna get a full day's isolation, which is basically you're stuck in your form room, it's classroom with your teacher, and all your stuff gets brung to you. You do nothing. Didn't take me take, take my vape off me at all. He gave it back to me to give to him. And I was just vaping in that classroom. I didn't care. Oh, that's crazy. Because he was never in the classroom. For like three hours solid, I was just vaping. <laughs> Recharge it. There and go. Go vape. But we did, we, did have a, we did have a mild vape problem. We had a more of a smoking problem. That was more persistent. That was a lot more out there. We had a lot of smokers... Like, we had this little alcove area outside where there's, like, a... There's basically, like, this massive driveway going down to the yard, which goes to the canteen area. And uh, it's where, basically, all the food deliveries go for, like, you know, food truck. And there's a little tiny alcove where all the food goes through to go through to the, uh, to the kitchen. And every day, you'd at least see about three or four people huddled over in, like, a little crouching position, smoking bags. Oh, it was, it was so constant. It just smelled smoke. Nasty. Mm, oh, yeah, one canter. Mmm. Beautiful. Well. Uh, well what about you, I've boys? only okay. Throughout my entire years of you know being in school, it's sure. less of a vaping problem and more of a kids smoking weed problem. <laughs> um, uh, so you know, of course, since I'm in the U.S., I'm in the state of California. Whoa. And of course, weed is legal, okay? And because it's legal, I'm tempted to say it's more easily to distribute kind of thing, even though you gotta be 21 to buy it or older. But I have a feeling because of, yeah, now people can get it and, uh, you know, oh yeah, they could uh, cough. I'm trying to put things into words. I'm so sorry, I'm very energetic, but. <laughs> It's more of a weed problem in my school, less of a vape problem. I'll leave it at that. And I have been offered to, you know, smoke the kush. And I'm pretty sure if anybody saw my face, they're like, yeah, you look like a pothead. I mean, I, 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 I kind of do. <laughs> but surprisingly enough, I don't plan on smoking or drinking. I, <laughs> but, um, yeah. So what about... Yeah, no wait, hard. I think you've already said that <laughs> about the vape cool. issue. So, no, actually, wait, have you, Hart? Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah, she went on about it. Okay. No, to, to add to facts on the vape, the amount of times I got accused of being stoned when coming into school was unbelievable. <laughs> I was automatically accused, and I'm just like, I've never smoked weed in my life. Because I was so, I'm, I'm a pale white boy. I look like Casper the Ghost. It's pretty funny. <laughs> And I got accused as like, are you whiting? I'm like, no. He's like, you look like you're about to throw up. I'm like, no. I'm fine. What do you think? <laughs> and then they always got pulled for it. I'm just like, come on. Back off. Like, I can't tan that well. It takes at least about six hours in the, like, in the sun to get at least somewhat tan. And somebody can get into like ten minutes. So I like a melon. Ooh. You're screaming in the background. Anyways, salad, <laughs> salad, my good friend, my pal, yeah. the one yeah. that I knew for a full, probably about 10, 20 minutes. I don't know how long this conversation was rolling. Yes. <laughs> Same question applies to you, speaker. Yeah, there was, a, it was a definite, pro, definite problem last year with vaping. Everyone would do it all the time. Like, wow, guys. <laughs> Why are there toilets in the j jewel room? <laughs> Am I right, guys? I'm so quirky. And mm. so they had to start leaving. They had to prop the boys and girls' doors open because it happened so often. And just recently, it was a few months ago. 
Um, this is the most recent one. Someone got caught vaping in the bathroom next to the cafeteria. And everyone... Uh, and they got expelled, or... I don't remember, but I think they got expelled. And <laughs> our teachers kept to telling us, like, don't vape in school. Like, there's children. Because the cafeteria... Uh, Ah, oh, sorry. I'm really bad at talking. It's not my... Frick. I'm not good at talking. Holy crap. So, the area they did it was more closer to where the children were, like, the K through 6. And so, our teachers, almost all of them, told, told us that it... got real quiet for me <laughs> everyone was muted well I mean I was listening to your story but all of a sudden you got real quiet and I'm like whoa oh I didn't mean to I'm so sorry <laughs> don't cry I'm sorry wipe the tears off your face okay you got another 30 seconds to live it's fine that makes you feel any better anyway okay but I mean the vape thing and you know weed I really I'm more oh gosh I don't even know where to begin <laughs> I'm kind of against weed and I'm also kind of against vaping <laughs> if that makes any sense at all right <laughs> do at least any of you know where I'm coming from Everyone's going silent. <laughs> okay. Now. Uh. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, you okay? Uh, I accidentally disconnected. <laughs> oh, no, it, it didn't say you disconnected. Unless I'm deaf and I'm blind. Then I, I didn't know. Oh, no. Oh, it's strange. Oh, gosh. Someone, there's a hitman out. He's taking us out one by one. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, anything other school-related topics you people want to bring up? Uh, I do have another story. Moisturize us I... with the knowledge. I'm so sorry. Continue. Fifth grade, yes. Um, there was this huge nerd in band. I didn't like him because of how much of a nerd he was. Um, I don't know. Uh, so we got into a fight over Pokemon <laughs> because I told them Pokemon was stupid, and, and he kept telling me, "No, it's not. It's super cool." And so we went out onto the field and we started like tackling each other. And we did it for like a solid two and a half minutes during recess. Then the bell rung, <laughs> and neither of us won. And I was so surprised because he seemed so scrawny and weak, and he was kind of overweight. But I thought it was pretty funny. Oh, so you fought somebody over Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's pretty hardcore. I'm a little disappointed too, because, I mean, oh gosh, I mean, at, at the same time, even though you, some people might find it funny, I kind of find it kind of sad at the same time, because it's like, oh gosh, oh, go on, anime. I find it, like, stupid at the same time as it is, yes, it is suck. It's stupid at the fact that you would get into a fight over a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but it's something <laughs> soul with it. Like he's still acting like a six-year-old. 
at the time. It's something you don't really keep, you know, put out there, to be honest, to keep it to yourself. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure. <laughs> oh, well, well, I've got a, I've got a question for everybody. Um, hmm. High school crushes. Oh, um, I'm not in high school it, yet. Oh, well, I'm in high school. So. School crushes, then, as a whole. As a whole. This is a whole. Okay. Who wants to answer? Be... I've, got another, I've got another answer. I've got another question. Okay, okay. well, mm. I, I want to answer this. Because, you know, yeah, I, I somewhat did, kind of did have a high school crush. And maybe actually got a little more further beyond a crush, okay? More of like, yeah, we, we eventually got together, but at the time, there was some intense stuff going on at my home that I... It's a so long story, but we later on kind of... I, I, I don't want to say break up, but just more of like, yeah, we... Okay, ah, jeez, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh... Someone help me. Where should I begin? So what, like, take Wherever. a break? Take a sabbatical, okay. like a day or something? I'm, I'm gonna take you peoples back to the year 2016. Alright? It's not long. It's like three. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean... Oh, gosh. Well, for me, it felt like a long time ago. Because... You're gonna start saying, back in my day. Well, back in my day! <laughs> oh, gosh! Shit, what are we doing all this stuff? interrupt to me, otherwise I'll send you to the gulag. Okay, enough weird voices. Back to my <laughs> normal, disgusting, low-quality mic voice. Um, so, yeah, I, I was... had a crush, but at the same time, there was some intense stuff happening at my own home at the time that I couldn't really... I, I don't know how to really describe this, but my emotions were kind of more of like depressed kind of way but i didn't really show or talked about much that was happening at my home at the time because there was a guy who was supposed to be paying rent and you know all this other stuff um, that you know he ended up i i literally lived in a broken home as in not my parents were apart but more of carpets destroyed just ripped off of the ground i could see the inner walls house being poorly remodeled by some guy who wasn't really supposed to do this stuff in the first place but was supposed to rent a room and you know later on he was harassing me and my parents and you know i i was living under stress a lot could barely sleep but you know i barely told anyone about this at the time and I didn't really told my crush at the time. And, you know, we, we don't hate each other. We're just more of like, we're kind of friends now, if you were people were wondering. But, uh, yeah, uh, because of all the stuff, for some reason, my girlfriend's friends thought that I wasn't really interested in her from the way that I was reacting to some things. Because, you know, I wouldn't say love you back or I, I've never really kissed her, really. Uh, because because of all this, they just assume I wasn't really interested in her in the first place. So during that summer of, I think it was 2017, I think it was, uh, she texted me through the phone saying that, yeah, do you love me? And I just asked, why are you asking me this? And... And later on, she just said, yeah, we're breaking up. Oh. She later, she later told me that it was because her friends didn't think that I was interested in her. So I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't really react too much. I wasn't angry. I was just more, my mind was more focused on what was happening at home than what, you know, my, I don't know if I should say ex or what said, but... Yeah, that, that's my answer. <laughs> that's a little drastic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a little... I mean, I, I'm sorry to, you know, you, put you things know. down so depressing. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm, I'm a different human being now. I'm, 
I'm single, if you people wondering that. <laughs> <laughs> single Pringles. <laughs> Get in on it. Single Pringles. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, how about same question goes to you, peoples. Hey. <laughs> Why don't you go, Mr. Anime Boy? Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Uh, let me take you back, all the way back to 2014. This was. Wow. It's a bit further back, yeah. So there's a little version of me, standing only year high. Liked a girl, very liked her, but it wasn't the popular kid in school. But she was pretty popular. You know how all these goals and like he never gets the girl or he gets them and he always goes down the hill or something like that. Funnily enough, I liked her. I had a crush on her to an extent. I liked her, but I didn't like her friends. As most people do. Because their friends are overprotective saying, Oh, if you go out with him, it brings down your you know, your whole populace, you know, your population in the school's you're not gonna be as popular. But, um, funnily enough, the, that summer of that, around, give or take, June, August, we ended up going to the same beach, funnily enough, the same day, ended up talking, getting to know each other, we spent about five, six hours together, I ended up getting her number, she ended up getting mine, we ended up talking, but then, guess what happens? Her friends find out. Causing a whole barrage of just them threatening to get a lot of lads on me. Like, oh, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna get, they're gonna actually beat the hell out of you. They're gonna do all this to you. I'm like, all right. So I'm not going out with her at the point in time. I never went out with her because, yeah, she was a crush, but it was never going to be any more than a crush. Per se. And she tried, actually, funnily enough, about. Last year, around about May time, she tried messaging me again. I'm like, I'm not going back down that route. Not a chance. I'm staying out of it. Heavily staying out of that route. But, uh, it was very quiet my crush life. It wasn't... It's been a lot more active now after I've left school and left college and moved on and gone full-time work. Just, it's more active. About uh, you, Heart. You got anything? I have like two stories I could talk about. My first ever crush was back in elementary school. Second grade, we had this new boy in our class. This is gonna be a short story because basically, I don't remember what happened. I, I saw pictures that I talked to him. I was a sociable child, not like how I am now. Uh, I'm a socially awkward being now, um, but I, I, I specifically remember that in fourth grade, um, I lost interest in him because um, <laughs> I, I had two best friends at the time and like we called ourselves like the mermaid girls because uh, we believed in mermaids <laughs> and <laughs> he, he <laughs> I can't stop laughing at this now. <laughs> uh, he said, like, uh, we were talking about mermaids, and he, he, like, turned to us and said, you know mermaids don't exist. And I kind of just turned and scoffed. <laughs> oh, my God. And then completely lost every feeling towards it, just disappeared. <laughs> I don't like you, but you don't like mermaids. Why don't you? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! I haven't told that story in so long. <laughs> it's a dramatic turn. You know, mermaids don't exist. Right? <laughs> you never know. You might do. <laughs> oh my From god! That day on, you traumatized me. I stayed up late with a bottle of vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Put into a shot glass. Oh my god. 
I don't know if I can tell the second one. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel bad for you, Daddy. Just go and say that straight to your face. Not even your back. <laughs> just straight up. You really don't say it. <laughs> what a twat. Now, okay, the final person for this question to apply to, my, my good friend that I've met maybe about 30 minutes ago, okay? We're, talk we're talking more like 40 now. <laughs> 40, jeez, <laughs> time flies. Okay. Time flies when you're laughing about a mermaid story. <laughs> I'm talking about mermaids, not a good story. That keeps me up at night. <laughs> you know <laughs> mermaids yeah. don't exist. Make I know that oh, now, I was a child. No. Uh, Let right. my child self believe. <laughs> okay. Salad. Salad. My, yeah. my, my buddy, yeah. my friend. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Hi, That's hi, me. hi. How you doing? Oh, salad. Oh, I'm are you good. Salad? How are you? Yeah. Okay, listen. Salad. The same question. Wait, actually, Salad, did you already answer this? No. Question? Oh, okay, then. I'm going to push you on the stage. Go. Preach. Oh, frick. Um, well, here's a short one, uh, this girl that, uh, in second grade, long time ago, uh, she had a crush on me because of my hair, and then I got a haircut, she's like, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't like you anymore, <laughs> and I was devastated, wow. I was so sad, I was like, why, was like, and then her friends told me, yeah, she only liked you for your curly hair, I was like, why? Then I went home and like. <laughs> oh, it's funny now though. I got some uh, very similar story. <laughs> Except you know, uh, of course, I myself I, I do got curly hair. Okay, I'll say that. So hello, brother. <laughs> now this. Except this. In, in, instead of a person that was the same age as me, it was more of a elderly feller. That was probably 65, maybe older, oh. hitting on me uh, as a uh, little uh, high school young boy. That's a no thank you. That's a no thank yeah. you. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I couldn't. I felt real bad for declining her offer before I go any further. <laughs> but, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to add any more detail into this, but I'll give you this. It has nothing to do with my... It was just... Uh, anyways, how do you do with your other curly hair? What other curly hair? What are you talking about? I only have one set of hair. They don't grow back. It just retracts into my body. <laughs> anyways. Oh, and just to add on my story, back it back then in 2013. I well, thirteen, fourteen. I did have Justin Bieber hair, so it, it was a bad phase. Oh, oh. Bad phase. Very bad. I forgot about Justin Bieber. Bieber. Yeah, Are I forgot about him as well. Ooh, until I saw pictures. I mean, the last I've heard of him was like people undisliking Justin Bieber because of YouTube Bieber. twenty. <laughs> My, no, yeah, Not YouTube bad, Rewind. Pretty so obvious. Like babies videos. The people unlike the video. I mean, I'm disliking. Gotta make uh, the YouTube rewind the number one dislike video. And during that same week, or same month, you know, bam, history happened. They don't like Will Smith anymore. Oh, know. yeah. I mean, I, you know what? Speaking of Will Smith, uh, there, there was a movie. The, there was like a new Men in Black coming out. Okay, I, I'm like, oh, cool, let me look at the trailer. I bet Will Smith is going to be in it. Oh, it's not. It's some other guy, isn't it? Yeah, and then there's some yeah. chick. I don't even know. Who is she? Mm. Is she okay? Is he going to be chicks with bees? Ooh. Um, but no, I saw no Will Smith. Apparently he's a... Uh... Ah, gosh, he's apparently voice acting some spy movie, though. A cartoon spy movie? That's that. I mean, that's the closest you're gonna get to the Men in Black. Pretty close, to be honest. 
forgot the name of the movie though, of the spy cartoon movie. But it has a little pigeon in it, if you were wondering to be a little more specific. <laughs> it's not helpful. <laughs> All the things anyway. are pigeons in it. Pigeon pie. Yeah. I mean just to narrow it down a little bit, you know, I I mean I think it was Will Smith whose voice I don't know if it was the main character, but yeah. All right. Any uh, thing? Any other questions in the milk box? Well, uh, actually, I got any I had a... yet. Oh yeah. Oh. You got any well, questions? Sorry, go on. Then what's you got, Sarge? Go on. No. Throw yours out there, man. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, throw it out there. Come on. We're already oh, been all right. So. Talk about some very odd stuff. All right. So I don't mean. To... I have another story of a crush. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't mean to throw hate. Uh. But, Shoot. so, I told this girl, I like, uh, October, that I, uh, had a crush on her, alright, stick with me, and she's like, oh, cool, uh, I like you too, I was like, wow, I cannot believe this, that's a first, um, and so, everything was going so well, alright, up until we got back from, uh, winter break, uh, January, I still thought everything was swell and fine and dandy, up until lunch when her friends like, oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell them the truth. I forgot exactly what she said, but something like that. And then it's like, wow, I I heard her say, it, and I was like having a panic attack in the back of my, where I was like, oh, she doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and so later, a few days later, she tells me that she doesn't like me anymore. I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. So then I kind of avoided her for like a day or two. And it, eh, you shouldn't do that to someone. It's, it's kind of rude. It's kind of rude. Uh, but then I started sitting with her at lunch again. And then, and then she, oh, she tells me that she likes me again. And holy crap, I, my, hmm. Whew, I was like, I thought I was on drugs. Uh, I, was, I had to confirm this like eight separate times with other people. Uh, it was like, ooh, ooh, ooh what? Because hmm? her sister, her twin sister, told me that she still liked me, and I, I was happy, but also like, huh? Big goose. I don't know. It's a very, very uh. Weird, weird day. But it's all good now, I guess. So, uh, thanks for letting me tell my story. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad you got that off your chest, okay? Your blood pressure was rising, you know? Getting a little aggressive <laughs> at the end. You're having a stroke, my friend. <laughs> okay, I mean, speaking... Okay, this is another school-related story, but it also happened to be in October. And, you know, I don't know if other schools do this in other countries when Halloween becomes a thing. Uh, We've got a prime example here of a different country, so... I mean, I, I don't know. But, uh, my school does this where, yeah, like, uh, right before this little break, uh, thing happens in October, uh, they're like, yeah, you're allowed to bring your costume, I think it was like on the night before or on the day of Halloween. I don't remember the day which specifically it happened. But all I remember was you could bring your costume just as long as you don't bring such and such stuff. Oh, oh somebody got clapped. Well, but, uh, oh, welcome so back. Oh my gosh, you missed the entire story. <laughs> Gotta retell it again. Not really. I'm sorry, but it's cold. It's fine. So sorry. He's aggressive. But as I was saying, uh, I, I did... One of the rules or whatever says you're not allowed to bring any weapon-like things or any sweets, no candy, nothing, nothing like that. Okay, no mask. So I myself, I haven't celebrated Halloween since I was, ah, jeez, elementary, I guess. So I'm like, well, what can I do without buying a new costume and what I have from home? So I thought of doing this. Okay, I'm going to visualize this as extreme makeover kind of thing so uh, I had you know black pants I had a white shirt I had a black trench coat okay 
in this trench coat happen to have inner pockets. And I thought it would be funny if I bring a bunch of cucumbers. Okay, I would shove them in much pockets I could. I had like, you know, ah, just two or three cucumbers in my inner pockets and two of my front pockets and I think it was more other pockets that I stuffed them in there <laughs> and of course me walking around people who said so what are you supposed to be I just simply responded I'm from the matrix but in reality I'm not gonna say what it is but I'll let you people expand your mind on the matrix part <laughs> I'm gonna assume you people know what matrix is right <laughs> yo yo you want yo okay, cool cool gotta leave Ooh, gotta clear my throat. <laughs> so, yeah, and you know, I would go up to random people that I've never talked to. I would slowly begin to reach into my inner pocket, looking at them dead in the eyes, okay, and I'll quickly pull out this cucumber and point it at them and just say, You've been eating your vegetables, or something like that. <laughs> and, <laughs> I would, oh my gosh, I was, ah, jeez. But that's what I did for Halloween oh <laughs> on that school day. I never went trick-or-treating. I didn't want to, but I wanted to do something like that. And for some weird reason, I don't know why, but I wanted to do it again because so many people that I've never talked to, for some reason, were talking to me because of this costume, okay? Not, I don't know if it was because they got the wrong idea and they thought I was going to do something malicious. I wasn't, but it was just a cucumber thing that I was doing. <laughs> But I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm the cool kid. <laughs> I had fun. Anyways, yeah, that, that's all I had to say for Halloween. I really school. thought that you were going to say that you went to school with a trash bag on and said, look at me, I'm white trash. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. I hate it when people say stuff like that. Oh gosh, I'm sorry to say that. Why, why, why did you thought I was going to say stuff like that? I don't know. <laughs> no. Well, my friend did it. And oh, your story kind of reminded me of him doing that. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know. That rustled my jimmies a little bit. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> no. Are you okay? Is your friend okay? Yeah, uh, no. Oh, He's not okay. Oh, what's happening? Is he okay? He's never been okay. Did, did he take his medication? No. Make, make, make sure you pat him on the back and just you know, be like, Hey, brother, are you okay? Are you okay? Just kind of kind of give him a little hug and whisper weird things in his ear. Maybe my <laughs> day. Maybe love weird you. compliments. I love give you. Give him a little smooch on the cheek. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> anyway, oh, <laughs> uh, this is getting real weird. <clears throat> so, what what's next in the bucket list we got here? Oh, frick! Enemy boy, you always have stuff to talk about. Please help us. Please come here. Come here, enemy boy. Are you alive? He's dead. Uh, okay, I guess I'll take the steering wheel from here. Unless Hart, you got something to bring to the table? Uh-oh. Uh, not really. I have to go here in a few minutes. Ah, uh, okay, I guess we'll be ending the stream pretty soon. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm liking where this is going. I can finally breathe and drink water because, gosh, my throat <laughs> is so dry right now. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, but hey, I, I've been I've been sick for a while, and you know it's like all this snot in my nose. Oh my gosh! Oh, beautiful. I I don't know where it's keep coming from, but no matter how many times I keep blowing my nose, there's just no end in sight on how much mucus keeps flying out. Okay, as soon as I think it's empty, oh no, there's something dripping down. So I'm it's like, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I'm so sorry to bring this up, <laughs> but I just want to talk about my problems, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Jeez. So I try to, you know, snort it down, you know, just like inhale. All right, please but... stop. <laughs> <laughs> it gets stuck in my throat. Go in the vent. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I'm not finishing. I'm going to 
interrupting me. I never no. interrupted you. I don't care. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> so that <laughs> it's like if I do a light cough, then it gets stuck in like more closer in the back of my tongue. <laughs> oh my god. Break my way up to spit it out. Oh gosh. Uh, oh god. But, you know, it, it's been happening for recently, but A, I've been feeling a little better. Thank you for asking. Yeah, um, thanks for sharing. Uh, but yeah, any, any recent problems that you've been having? Huh? That's yeah. fine. Some guy just told me the story about his son. <laughs> This is a serious problem. Oh, yeah. Well, ma ma make sure you, you give this person a pat on the back and just be like, you're gonna die. Just whisper something in his ear. <laughs> oh. Give this a break. Hold on. It's alright. Oh, hey, how's it going, anime boy? Pretty good, anyway. man. I've just got a fluke, you know, the, the usual. Pretty, pretty, pretty shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you clearing your throat? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. See, I think enemy boys have a similar problem. Oh, Jeez. God. Yeah, I think he has a disease or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, let, let, let's, yeah, let's, let's. Okay, no, actually, how much time I, I, do we got left? I am. Uh, I am a very healthy man. I just have a flu. I, I don't really know how much time left. Like, in like nine minutes, I'm supposed to go and get ready. Oh, okay, okay. Where's she running off to? Where are you running away? <laughs> Where are you running? <laughs> don't do a Madeline McCann move. Don't do that. Ah, you don't get that joke. Uh. <laughs> ha ha. It's a UK it's joke. Because I tried no, to it's about an eight-year-old child that... I'm missing. American. Oh, you from USA? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, yeah, man. Hey. That's really nice. Hello, hello my <laughs> American brother. How you doing? Hello, my brother. Oh, hola, hola, mi brother. Would you like to come to my taco shop, baby? Ooh. Whoa, whoa, we're getting a little racist here. Let's, let's yes. dive uh, in. I said America, not Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, my, my parents are from Mexico. Crazy place. I don't even know if I should even talk about it. <laughs> Uh -oh. He talks about it, then the cubby just hitting him. Let me talk off. <laughs> that uh, the Mexican cartel just like drives past my house. It's like, uh, we got him. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot up his bedroom. Oh gosh, I mean, yeah, the Mexican cartel, they scare the crap out of me. All Pretty right? scary people, you know. Oh no, <laughs> just the stories down. alone. Damn. just terrifies me. It's like, no way. They do oh, this. very scary, man. Like, oh, I, I don't even know if we should even go over there. Out. They have mad lad syndrome. Oh, mad lad syndrome? What's that? Yeah, dude. Mad lad syndrome. Where they have to be mad lads. Where they all day, well every off. day. Where they think they're top dog, top class when they're actually not. Where they think oh, they're porn frick. and operation of bigger stuff. What? Well, you cussing, Salad? You said the F word. Uh, there's ink everywhere. Oh, no. no. I mean ink. Are oh, you there's ink, ink from my pen. Oh, is no, the pen no, referencing no. something else? Oh, no, it's on my desk. Is oh, the desk implying God. something else? That poor desk, nah. how did you violate it so badly? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't open up these pens. Oh, uh, you do that too? You just crack it open? Crack it open. Like you just crack like crack the pen in half the and you're like, oh, cool. He just wants to get ink, he just wants to get ink poison secretly. <laughs> gotcha. Could you use ink pen as motor oil? <laughs> Starts chugging full straight on the motor. Good stuff. It's healthy for my bones. Oh, jeez, chill. <laughs> Eel myself Dude, ready. Sorry. Oh, that's making me a little disgusted right there. Oh, gosh, more of that mucus is crazy. <laughs> <back there>. uh, <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, uh, just for you, I'm not going to make no more sounds. I'll just swallow it back down and. <laughs> Existing. <laughs> hey, hey, don't be blaming me. Blame the pollen, pollen, whatever you call the stuff that's in the air. You know, the pollen. The pollen. The pollen. The pollen. You can call it pollen. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm in here. 
I got a crank oh, right over it here. Just a little, I'm just a little thing that goes in plants. So. I'm just a thing that gets in your nose and pisses you off. <laughs> yeah, I inhale that stuff, and oh my gosh, that's the main problem. Okay, I can't hang around with street cats. Okay. <laughs> Like, I don't know if anybody like else... Has any of you ever, like, pet a street cat before? No, I own a street cat. It's a weird You're experience. planning to get a disease, like, No. Because... Oh, that's a pity. So big. Yo, even though those cats would go around breeding other cats and creating more of those street cats everywhere... I... I've seen some nasty stuff. So weird. I've seen... I've, I've seen them get it on. It's not a nice time. Like, I I've seen them like jump on cactuses and just walk around <laughs> on it like nothing. <laughs> no, it's like when I like touch a cactus, I just die from it. Okay, I'm bleeding out. I'm like lost a gallon of blood. I die. Like, no, like cats, they just like squirm around on that gallon. like it's nothing. A gallon of blood. <laughs> like I don't yeah. know how cats do it. I mean, I, is it like because they got like more tougher skin or what? They're just hardcore the mud blobs. The oh gosh. <laughs> My main answer is I think camels can just like munch on cactuses. Yes, sir. Must be tasty. The protein. I, I, I tried touching a cactus once. Just like with one finger. No, it was it was violent. I was screaming as if I got shot <laughs> in the leg. I I'm, I've drank from a cactus, like the cactus juices. Nasty, but it's not, oh, not best, I... You're not supposed to drink. Oh, what? I, I wore... You can't drink it. I wore a shirt once that my mom accidentally dropped on top of one of the, on one of the cacti she had in her garden. So oh. <laughs> I'd find some uh, little pricklies in my stick and kiwi. Prickly situation. <laughs> there was only like three, I think. It wasn't that bad, but. Still, still prickly. But I, I'm just saying, okay, these cactuses, they're everywhere. I don't know how people just let those things grow on their backyard. Okay. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> no, it's a they like sometimes stuff harvest stuff. it. Like, you go ahead and stop and eat it. Back off more cactus catch you, man. Oh gosh. Oh. I don't trust cactus. Oh yeah, rest in peace, salad. We gotta set up a funeral. His mic okay. is not working. No, no, come on, man. A very good friend. But we got, we gotta start. Really right. There, final words to him, everybody. Have a moment of silence. <laughs> you know, what, anime boy, stop right there. I didn't know you were a beatboxer. <laughs> what? No, that's not beatboxing. That's... It sounds that's like homie. beatboxing. You should be. You're the new. You're the new. Oh my gosh, I knew it. Yes! Oh, thank god. Salad, you're Hello? dead. You're not supposed to be talking. <laughs> oh my god, I'll dead, go man. ahead. Dead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and snap my neck now. Oh, uh, he's dead now. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Anyways, back to the cactuses, okay? <laughs> um, Why are we talking about cactuses? Because oh, cats can just... Oh, 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 cacti! Oh, cacti! Is it cacti? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no wonder why. Uh, Anyways. Subliminal messaging right there. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't want to die. <laughs> I got like so much plans left. So much things I want to do. Uh, I want. I wanted to be a nice girl. <sighs> I want. I wanted to play CS:GO one more time. There's a cactus That's store right good. outside my house. That's why you get top 500 in Overwatch. It's <laughs> breaking in my window. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm well, just like it's not what it looks like. I'm just playing. <laughs> like Please. Cactus I'm creature just crawls inside of the sewer pipes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, since, you know, we had nine minutes left, correct, Hart? Right? Kind of one minute oh, left now, cool. but you know, I think okay. we can still go. Right. I have a question. I have a question. What is it? Right. Wait. Did, did you guys know uh, that um mermaids aren't real? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, okay. Enemy boy. Closing well, statements. Uh, what you gotta say? Uh, peace. I'm going to bed. It's late. It's 11 o'clock. 
I'm tired. Oh, it's four o'clock. Okay, well, I feel right, bad for you. Okay, overconfident force, you got something to say? No. Okay, heart, you got something to say? No. Okay, well, I, I changed my mind, I do got something to say. Overconfident you force, you got something to say? You wanna see something? Any last words before we end the uh, suffering? No, don't end the suffering. Alright, <laughs> press the pause button. Mash it. Mash it. Press the button. End it. Shoot it right between the eyes. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Goodbye. 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 Put the gun down. No. <laughs>